Hi, it's Kip Kane. I'm back with another weekend project in the pages of Make Magazine, and I've got a screw loose. I know that's not a surprise to some of you, but working out here in the shop, I'll occasionally drop some things behind this workbench, like I just did a small screw that I really need. Well, I know there's a bunch of junk under there, and I can't get a broom under there to get to it, so I need something that can help me retrieve this tiny screw. Well, if you're anything like me, you've had your fair share of these CD DVD spindles over the years and have probably thrown a bunch out. Well, don't do that because there's a lot of cool projects out there like a mobile bagel transporter or a toilet paper roll holder. Well, on today's weekend project, we're gonna use this CD spindle and some other things to make a lost screw finder. So join me. You can find the Lost Screw Finder project by Frank Ford in Make Volume 13. You'll find everything you need to make the Lost Screw Finder at your local hardware store, except for the CD spindle, and that's where we're going to start. So we'll flip it over, and using the one inch PVC pipe, we're going to mark two holes and then begin to cut those out. Now I started with a box cutter and realized that it was giving me a little bit of a hard time, wasn't really the right tool, tried a pair of scissors and they weren't really cutting well enough, so I ended up using the trusty X-Acto knife. So cut out both of those circles and they don't need to be exact as you'll see in just a little bit. Now out to the shop where I used a hacksaw to cut off about a quarter inch off of each end of our two 90 degree elbows. Then we'll need to cut three pieces of PVC pipe. We'll mark a two inch spot, a three quarter inch spot, and then also a one and a half inch section, and we'll cut all three of those out. Then we'll be using some PVC cement, and we'll apply some to the 90 degree elbow, uh, the one end that we cut, and we'll insert our three quarter inch piece of PVC pipe, and we'll fit that piece through one of the holes in our spindle, and then secure it on the inside with uh, some more PVC cement and one of the quarter inch rings that we cut off earlier. And that will be our intake port. And now it's time to glue together our other 90 degree elbow, our one and a quarter inch piece of PVC pipe. And again, that will go through the other hole on our CD spindle and it will be fastened by our second quarter inch ring. And now it's time to glue our 45 degree elbow in place using our two inch piece of PVC pipe. So we'll secure that together and we're almost done. I'll be using an aluminum washing machine lint snare, which will act as our filter. So after cutting off a section of that, that'll go over our last fitting and secure it in place with a zip tie. I cut a small groove in the remaining one inch piece of PVC pipe that will act as our extension. It kind of gave it a flat surface so it'll run along the ground easier. And then inserted that in the 45 degree elbow. Okay, I've plugged my shop vac into the intake port on my lost screw finder, and now it's time to test it out. So here we go. Uh, well, I got back under there as far as I could, so let's see what we've got here. And uh, well, Look at that. There's my screw right there. And also I found a, uh, a bicycle valve under there too. <laughs> so uh, some of the bigger pieces didn't, get, uh, didn't go through the screen, but the smaller pieces will go through the screen. And at least it captures them in this small container instead of having to dig through your entire shop vac. So the only other thing that you might be able to do with this lost screw finder is what about putting some magnets, gluing some magnets on this center shaft? That way it would stop only magnetic parts. In this case, this was a non-magnetic screw. I could have gone under there with, a, uh, with one of those extended magnets and kind of hunted around for it. Of course, that wouldn't have cleaned out under my cabinet either. So that's how to make a lost screw finder. And we'll see you next time with another weekend project.